And we're back. Since we've been using the transfer glitch a lot lately, I've noticed a lot of confusion down in the comments. So today I thought I'd show a beginner's guide on how to do it. So pretty much all the basics and all the steps required. So you could go and get any modded outfit of your choice later on in the future. I don't expect this to get a lot of views or anything. I just want to make it as a reference for anyone who may be confused because I do see it a lot. If you learn anything from this or it can help me out, please subscribe. It's completely free for you and it really does help out. I can't hit 85,000 subscribers without you. So if you guys could go down there, it takes two seconds. Also, don't forget to leave a like on the video, but let's get into it right away. Every time you do the transfer glitch, it will come with these requirements. So number one is you will lose all your previously saved outfits but your favorite one. This means so if you have 20 outfits saved, they all will disappear and you'll have to remake them. So this sucks for most people, but you do end up getting a lot of cool modded outfits, so it's whatever you decide to choose. The second requirement is whoever is in your main slot. So slot number one is who you're able to get the clothes for. So let's say you have a guy in slot number one. That means you're able to go and transfer from the female clothes onto the guy and then get your modded outfits. But if you have it the other way around, then you're only able to get modded female clothing. So whoever's in slot number one is the person that will get the clothing. And the third and last requirement will be what character needs to be deleted. So whatever's in slot number two, if you have progress on both, unfortunately, you do got to delete the second one. So if you don't want to do it, then those are the three requirements. It works on all consoles. As it says what console there, it works in all three, so don't worry. PC, PS4, PS5, and it comes out. Xbox, it works on everything. Don't even worry about that. And let's get into it right away. So quick disclaimer, I'm probably going to put this on all my videos, but for Rockstar Take 2 or anyone watching this, what I'm posting in this video and on every video that I'm going to be posting on the channel does not go against anything on your copyright system. Found on your page, this article right here, I went through Rockstar support, I've emailed you guys multiple times to multiple different emails, I've never got a response, it's been a few weeks now, so I'm just going to go, I'm pretty sure what I'm posting is completely allowed. If it isn't though, please, please do not give me a strike and email the email that is on screen right now and I will go and personally delete that video as soon as I can. If you guys give me a strike, my whole channel is going to be deleted for no reason. It doesn't go against your terms of service. Last thing is for educational reasons only. I don't condone doing glitches. You may get banned. Let's get into it. Okay, so we just load in here onto a new account. So what we'll be doing, I'm going to have the guy in slot number one and I'm going to have the girl in slot number two. So if you guys have it the other way around, just follow the opposite of what I will be doing. So what I, you're going to go and do is you're going to go and go click swap character in the options menu. Once you go do that, it's going to take you into the clouds and it's going to go and put you onto the screen. If you already have progress on your second character, all you want to do is go and delete that and then go and create a new one. So as you guys can see here, I got two fresh new characters because I'm on a new account. But since I have the guy in slot number one, we're going to be going and making the opposite. If you have the girl in slot number one, you want to go and make a guy. You guys, I think you guys get what I'm saying. So you want to go and click edit character. Again, if there's one already made, we got to delete that and then restart. So once we go and actually start editing the character, it does not matter how they look because you will be deleting them in around 10 minutes anyway. So once you get here, all you want to do is go click save and continue and then you're done. Again, make sure it's the opposite. So just go to the last slot, click save and continue. It's going to ask you to take a picture. You're just going to go click X and then it's going to ask you if you want to transfer your money. So when it asks you that as well, you want to accept it. And then finally, it's going to go and ask you, do you want to skip the GTA Online tutorial? And once again, yes, X or A to skip that as well. Then after you do this, it's just going to go and take you into GTA Online. From here, you might get a little cutscene. It might be Diamond Casino. It might be the new update. It doesn't matter what it is. You just want to wait for that to go, and then you're going to go to the nearest closed store. So once you get to the closed store, is where you'd pull up a tutorial, whatever outfit you'd want. I'll give three. Click the tag top right here. Here's three options of outfits that I made. But basically, you'll just be following the components that the YouTuber or whoever you're getting it from is telling you. So they're going to tell you make a few different outfits. So you just want to go and follow that. You don't got to follow the gameplay in the background. I was just doing with random ones. But let's say you're trying to do checkerboard outfit. You would go and follow the, the components that they would give you. And then after that, you would go and save those outfits in your slots. After you save them and after you got all your components down, all you want to do is take the easy way out. Once again, I do have a bunch of videos, so go click the tag top right and you guys go watch those if you want to make an outfit as we're going along. Once you go and take the easy way out, the only reason we're doing this is this forces the game to save. 100% of the time when you do that, it will force the game to save, but just in case you might want to go and switch one of your outfits on and off, this will just guarantee it to go. After you do that, you will see this little yellow loading symbol, that's how you know it's saved. 
So you might die. That's why it's better going invite only session so this doesn't happen. But it won't make a difference in the end anyway. After this, we're going to go to creator and we're going to need to make a land race. So what you want to do is click pause or options. It's going to go and take you to the home screen. You might want to walk around for a few seconds just to make sure everything loads in. Then you want to go head down to creator. If you're not logged into social club, you're going to need to go and make an account. So I'm going to go and do that right now and then I'll cut back. So once you made a social club account, all you want to do is launch creator once again. This time we're going to go and able to make a land race. So the reason we're doing this is because this enables us to transfer the outfits over and then we could go and get our modded outfit at the end. So once we load in, all we got to do is we want to go and create a simple, simple land race. So go down to create a race, which is second. Then you want to go click land race, which is the third option. From here, it's just going to ask us for a name. This stuff does not matter. There are only three settings that actually do matter, so I'm going to fast forward this part. You want to put maximum players onto two or three, and then put the route type onto point to point. You could put it on supercars to make it a bit quicker, but that is all that matters. You're just following what it's telling you to do on screen. So it's going to go and tell you to actually create the race. So just go and head over to the airport because that's where it's easiest. You're going to need to go and put like the little triggers and put the checkpoints. It needs to be at least one mile long. This part does not take long. If it's your first time, it's going to take around 10 to 15 minutes maybe to do. But if you're experienced at it, it'll take no more than five. Then you're actually going to need to go and test the race as the final step that you need to do. So just go drive around, follow your own checkpoints, and go and accept it. After this, you just want to go click save. So you could save the race, and then you want to go click options, and we're going to go and go back to swap character. So go, I save the race just like this, accept this. Now I'm going to go click pause or options once again. It's going to go and take us onto the main screen where we could go and click choose character and it'll take us back to the lobby. So head over to online and we're going to go choose character which is the second last option. We're going to go click X on that and it's going to go and take us back to the screen where we got our male and female. All right, so right here we get back onto this screen. What we want to do now is, like I said before, we do need to delete whatever character is in slot number two, so I will be deleting the female. Make sure you don't delete your main character because that would be pretty bad if you'd lose that. If you guys still watching this point, I'd appreciate if you guys leave a like on the video, especially if I'm helping you guys out. I must be if you're still watching at the 7.45. So let's go and delete character number two. Right when you get back onto the screen, as soon as you can, click B or circle, so it takes you back into story mode. So I'm spamming it right away bang circle and it's going to go and quit session take us back into story mode once you get into story mode you'll just load in wherever you were last so you might be on michael trevor it doesn't matter as you guys see mine it looks like a reset here but that's just because i was on a new account to display this tutorial don't worry it's it'll just be wherever you were last from here you just want to go and start an invite only or public lobby it does not make a difference invite only is probably easier once you load in you'll be wearing whatever your original outfit was so the one that you want to save what you want to do though is go and buy an earpiece. After you buy an earpiece from any ammunition, you just want to go to online, you want to go to jobs, you want to go to play job, and now we're going to go and have to start the Rockstar created mission called Crooked Cop. So head down to verses and start Crooked Cop up. You got to be like level 5 to access it, so if you're under that then you won't be able to do it. You do want to host, you could have other people in it, but it doesn't matter. So what you, the main step, you got to go to clothing and you got to make sure it's on the player owned. It starts on the classic, make sure it's on player owned. You wait for anyone to join, just start inviting randoms. They don't need to do anything, you literally got to be in the job for less than 30 seconds. Then all you want to do is go click play once you get someone to join. Once again, they don't got to do anything. Once you get in, we're going to go head down to own outfit and you'd go and scroll through whatever slot the YouTuber would be telling you to do. So let's say they tell you go and scroll onto slot number two, you'd go and do that and you'd follow the steps and you'd end up getting your modded outfit. The outfit that I have here is extremely ugly and it's not cool at all. I know that I was just doing it for jokes and I was just trying to make whatever just for this tutorial because I'm not actually explaining how to make one. I'm just explaining the basics for you guys. But you guys can see we got the Tron pants, we got the Tron shoes, and we got some random rip shirt thing that's going on here. Once you actually get into Crooked Cop, we're going to hold the touch pad, we're going to go down to style, we're going to flick on an earpiece, and then you just want to leave the job through your phone. 
which will finish it off. So once we load in, we'll go and have our outfit. All you gotta do is save it. That's gonna be it for the video. If you guys made it to the end, and hopefully I did help you guys out, please, please subscribe to the channel. The goal is 100k. I can't do it without you, especially if you watch until the end. But go and do some of these tags or whatever. Have fun. Hopefully you guys have an amazing day.